Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. So guys, as you know, I'm the 30th of May. One of my tarantulas malted and it was my albopilosum, my Honduran curly hair. So let's just take out the, take off the lid I should say. And there is he or she. Um, the malt was a little bit small to sex, so I'm not too sure if it's a male or female. So I'm going to be feeding this tarantula today and then tomorrow... I'm going to be rehousing it into a, a bigger enclosure. I have a dubia roach inside there. There was a little dead cricket in there. I'll take that out. But yeah, I'll be feeding it uh, a dubia roach and uh, let's see if it'll take it down. So guys, here goes. It might take it down, it might not. Oh, there we go. Oops, taking the spider with me then. I don't know where the, the roach has gone. Then it's gone on the floor. Which is not a good idea. Let's just get the roach back. Let's try again. And there we go. It's taken down its meal. So I'll be definitely rehousing it tomorrow. It does look fairly big on camera, the spider, but um, I assure you it's only around about an inch, inch and a half. A must in anybody's collection. Beautiful. Beautiful species. Can't wait until this one gets bigger. But this roach here should definitely fatten up its abdomen. And a little bit of fang action there. So it's been 12 days since it malted. That is plenty enough time to give it a feed. And it should start doing its uh, happy dance, just like all tarantulas do. So guys, like I said, I'm going to be rehousing it in a bigger enclosure tomorrow. And um, it should be definitely happier in its big home. So guys, it's been 24 hours since my albopilosum took down that roach, so it's time to rehouse him or her into a bigger enclosure. So as you can see, I have a 1.3 litre brass plus tub. I put some ventilation holes in uh, a little bit earlier. And um, yeah, I've got some dry substrate in this bucket just down here. So that's mixed in with a bit of sphagnum moss as well. So not much left, but it should be okay to fill this enclosure i'll put it in there around about two inches of substrate because these love to burrow down as slings they don't really burrow down um as adults but look look how it's trying to burrow down guys and it's only around about the inch inch and a half mark so while we're here guys let's put some substrate in and put a water dish in don't need to put a hide because it will burrow down and it probably won't use the hide anyway but I'll, yeah, I'll put a water dish in there and um, let's get started. So guys, as you know, I have my trusty little cabinet where I keep all my accessories. So I keep my water dishes in a little cricket tub just here. So we'll just move the tarantula to one side. Don't uh, worry guys, it won't escape. I'll keep my, an eye on it. So let's just grab one, that one. Will be perfectly fine. So let's just put that to one side and put some substrate in the enclosure. So everyone, like I said, I'm gonna need a couple of inches of substrate in here. And the tarantula should be okay in here for at least two or three months, and it'll go into another bigger enclosure and put a little bit more in that should be that should be okay and I'll put the water dish in the middle there and it can just burrow down 
and do its own thing. So let's just top up the water dish. I'll just give it a mild spray. That's it. Because that, that these the old buffaloes do like it really dry, but I just misted it just slightly, just soften up the substrate a little bit. So let's just pat that down a little bit more and it should burrow down and uh, do its own thing. So guys, the last part to do now is to just coax the tarantula out of its old home and just give it a little touch, it should start climbing up when it's good and ready. There it comes, and you can see the size, guys. It's not very big, it's been a little bit stubborn. Oh, flicking airs at me, telling me to go away, Spider Man, leave me alone. And there we go, lads and gentlemen. And there we go, guys. It's just slowly walking around, just getting used to its new surroundings. Always best to wait around about 24 hours after its meal then you can rehouse it into a bigger enclosure and um, yeah it should be okay in this enclosure for a while so if i just zoom out for you guys and you can see the size difference between each enclosure and um, like i said it should be okay in there for at least two or three months so let's just put the lid on the enclosure And thanks for watching everyone.